Okay, hey guys, it's Paul. Um, just doing a little fiddle farting around there uh, with a couple of the things that I wanted to cover today. Um, warbles, uh, notes that are found close together on the harp, notes that are together on the harp that are usable, um, and uh, I've got an exercise I'm going to give you for that, and then uh, hand vibrato. Um, uh, little, little choppy there, just kind of dinking around, kind of trying to come up with some some little simple examples of that, uh, of, of some of those techniques. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm whistling around on a Kia C, uh, Special 20. Um, this is that Stage 1 Spires um, that I had in the last video. I'm kind of getting used to it, not so sure how I feel about that, to be honest with you, because um, now I'm going to expect everything to play, to play like a custom, and they just don't, you know, it's just... It's, it's a different world, man. It's, it's a different deal altogether. Um, uh, the response is ridiculous. Uh, and, you know, this is a, that's off topic. It's off topic. I'm not going to get off topic. Key of C special 20. All right. So, okay. Warbles. A couple of people have asked me, what, 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 what is a warble? I don't know. I've, I've had that asked a couple of times over the course of the last week or so. Um, I've had that question come up. A warble is basically two notes that... Um, are played uh, with the same airstream, either blown or drawn, um, and then back and forth, simultaneously back and forth. Okay, so you've got, you get kind of a warbling or a shake that's going on between the two notes. Um, I've heard it called a shake as well. Um, I, I'm not so sure, I don't know what the technical aspect, I know the technical term is, I've heard it warble. That's how I've been um, how I'm used to it being called, but I have heard it called a shake, um, so don't get confused. Okay, um, a warble. Okay, that's a warble. All right, so you got the, the four, that was the four and five draw, so you're going to grab the four draw, and you can do this without bends. If I'm bending up and it's kind of confusing anybody, I, I apologize. You don't have to bend. Just grab the four draw. Okay, so you got the four draw. That's all me moving my head back and forth from the four to the five draw. Okay, I'm just moving back and forth, back and forth. Want to play slow and deliberate. Relax. That's the key. Um, if you're if you're warbling or if you're if you've started with this and you're not happy with how it sounds, chances are it's because you're playing tight. Um, if, you, if you don't relax when doing this, it creates tension, and it also creates friction. So you want to kind of find that happy balance where you're able to do this without being, being too tense. What basically happens is when you play slow and deliberate to start with um, on the notes, you know, the next question then becomes, is it all coming from my head going back and forth or, or from, from my hands? I mean, I don't, what do I use? What do I use? Um, me, it, it, it just kind of depends at first, like the slow, the slow, I could do it either. I could do it with my head or my hands when I'm playing slow. But as I move faster, as I get faster, all of a sudden it's a combination of both working together. So what happens is if you, if you start this technique and you're doing one way or the other, um, slow and deliberate, Eventually what will happen is as you build speed, that technique comes and, and all of a sudden you're doing it and you're just like, whoa, you know, that's pretty cool. All right, so warbles can be played on any set of notes that are basically um, found together. So you got uh, two, two and three, uh, three and four, four and five, five and six. Five and six is another common one. Um, William Clark, you hear that a lot in William Clark's playing the five and six. Um, all right, that five and six warble. Um, so it, you get the point, right? So just slow and deliberate, two sets of notes. Don't worry too much about the, you know, back and forth. That comes, but slow and deliberate. Okay, um, this this to this topic is actually the the notes. There are pairs of notes that are found together on the harmonica because of the way the harmonica is laid out. Um, they they play really well together, and you can play them in licks, you can play them in 
um, you know, any number of, of things, and, and they make nice combinations. There's a, there's a, um, there is a exercise that I, that I use um, for my own personal, it's, it's something I just do. I don't know, maybe other people do it or not, I don't know. Um, but it's something that I just kind of do. It's a little run um, that helps me play those notes in sets. And it's kind of helped me to, to pull. And you could pull licks out of, out of this little um, exercise. So without putting it off any longer, two-hole draw, it starts out. Um, and it ends up on the six-hole draw. So, and then back down. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Um, uh, trying to regulate myself there with that one. Um, Two-hole draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go through the whole two-hole draw, you know, to three-hole draw to the two-hole draw thing. Um, I'm going to put that in the notes so that uh, I'll tab it out for you in the notes. That way, um, if you wish to use that and, 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 and practice it, um, and I think it'll help you a lot. I think it'll it's, uh, it's helped me to kind of, It'll help you to move around, build fluidity, um, and get used to it. And it's also a blow, draw, blow, draw kind of thing. So it's it's going to help you with that as well. Um, okay. Uh, one of the things, you know, when I think about players that are really good with the notes that are together on the harmonica, that really use them well, um, and, you know, are very musical, and it's not just constant, but it's sporadic, and you can hear it through a soloing, um, is Charlie McCoy. Charlie McCoy is a bend master. The guy is known for his control over his bends and all this kind of stuff. What an amazing player, and he's one of my favorites. But um, he also has this unbelievable ability to be able to move back and forth from notes, um, you know, those together notes, and repeat small passages throughout his, his soloing. Um, if you hear squeaking, I have a dog in the room who has decided she wants to go into her toy box and get everything out of the toy box that makes noise, driving me crazy. Okay, so anyway, hope it's hopefully it's not too distracting. But anyway, um, Charlie McCoy. Uh, Stuff like that. Okay, so that's what, the uh, six and the five? All right, so he's using a lot of That kind of stuff. Um, in fact, uh, that little part uh, without the bend is almost right out of that that uh, uh, exercise. So, um, kind of gives you an idea of of how those notes, those note pairs, um, can work in your soloing. And I think that that's probably a pretty good example. Um, Charlie McCoy. If you haven't got any of his stuff, I would highly suggest you get it. And, and really listen to the guy. He's just phenomenal, just amazing. And um, I've never met him. Uh, I wish I could. He and Buddy Green are the two guys um, that, if I could meet, um, you know, they're just they're my personal favorites. Two of them, top five, definitely top two of the top five. Okay, uh, them and Todd Parrott, by the way. He's another one. If you haven't heard his music, if you haven't heard his playing, oh wow. Okay, so anyway. If I could sound like anybody, it would be him. That guy is amazing. Um, okay, so uh, where am I? Okay, <laughs> get all on my, on my little rant here. I, I don't want to get distracted, and I get distracted very easily. Okay, so um, <clears throat> hand vibrato. Um, I did a video on vibrato, uh, and it's it's off in it's off on my channel. That's the inside vibrato, the the throat vibrato, or the lower throat vibrato. 
you know, that vibrato, okay? So what we're talking about here is making uh, vibrato with your hands. Now, I talked about the cupping, okay? Holding your harmonica and the cup, okay? So you want a nice tight cup. Grab the two-hole draw. Don't run from that bugger. Grab the two-hole draw, and we're going to do, do this with the two-hole draw, okay? Okay, um, you can regulate the speed, and it sounds like a, it's a nice vibrato, right? I mean, you can really use that. Um, also, uh, you've probably heard this before, where you bend a note, where they bend down a note, and they get wah, wah, that really deep wah, 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 whiny wah, wah. It's like a cry. Okay, um, so that is your hand vibrato. Uh, mess around with that a little bit. Make sure you got a nice tight cup and then um, regulate the speed. Uh, and then once you start getting your bends and stuff like that, if you, if you haven't already, um, you can begin to, you know, piddle around with that kind of stuff with that um, crying vibrato. Um, and vibrato. Anyway, okay, that's, uh, let's check the time here. Okay, uh, I just, I want to thank you guys for being so cool. Um, you know, those of you who have said some really nice things and uh, been supportive, I'm, you know, I, I just like to, this is a lot of fun. I really just want to help people. Um, I've got a lot to learn. We all do. I, I don't know of anybody that isn't at a point in their playing where they're not still learning. If we stop learning, then we stop improving. Um, or if we stop in striving to learn, um, then we're really not, you know, thorough. We're not mu being musicians. I, I think every good musician out there is constantly trying to learn new things and, and become better. And it doesn't really matter what level you're at. It's pretty amazing. Um, I, so I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the cool things that you guys have said, some of the kind words, all the kind words. And um, if you like what I'm doing, hit, hit a few likes. Uh, and you know, let me know if, if not, um, if you have questions or if anything else, please let me know. I'll do everything that I can to help. Um, that's really all I'm, I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay. So take care guys. Take care everybody. Um, and enjoy. All right. We'll see ya. All right. Bye-bye.